before I even read this, I'm already thinking kind of looks like y equals mx plus b, doesn't it? Right? y equals mx plus b. It's a little screwy, but it kind of looks like a line. So let's see if that matters. The equation gives the speed s in miles per hour of a certain car t seconds after it began to accelerate. What is the speed in miles per hour of the car five seconds after it began to accelerate? So it has nothing to do with y equals mx plus b. This is purely just put things into the equation where they belong, right? So the number of seconds is t. So this is going to be s equals 40 plus 3 times 5. s is equal to 40 plus 15, which is six, uh, 55. Choice d. Careful with your arithmetic. But there you go. That's it. Now, I, even though it didn't matter that this was a, a linear equation, I'm still interested in that because so much of the SAT is being able to identify which topic matters or could matter as soon as possible. So I know lines are a big topic on the SAT, and, and that just I've trained my brain to I can't even help it, right? I just I just know that if I see a line, I'm like, oh, line, right? And so they could ask about the y-intercept, they could ask about the slope. They didn't. They just wanted me to plug a particular point in, but you know, it's good to have that reflex, to be able to kind of know where it could go, even when it doesn't go there, just so that when it does go there, you are ready, right? You don't want to stare at this and think about what it means. You want to recognize a y equals mx plus b equation as soon as you see one.